In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the error BL said BNTBNA and then 6015 when trying to launch Call of Duty Warzone on your Windows PC. So as you can see, I've got the error message on my screen at the moment. And the first thing that you need to do is just go ahead and press OK. Now you need to go to the top left hand corner and ensure you do not have an update available for Battle.net app. So as you can see, I currently do have an update available. So you now need to go ahead and click on the battle.net icon and you then need to click on to restart an update if you do have an update available. Okay, so after restarting the battle.net app, if you did have an update available, go ahead and see if you can now launch Warzone. And as you can see, I can't, I'm still getting the same error message. So if you are as well, go ahead and press okay. The next thing that you now need to do is click on the settings cog. You then need to click on show in Explorer. And you now need to open up the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and scroll down until you find the Modern Warfare Launcher.exe. And you then need to right click on this and go to properties. Now select compatibility. And if you have run this program as an administrator selected, you need to untick this option and press apply and OK and do the same for the modern warfare.exe as well. Once you've done that, now go ahead and see if you can launch the game. And with a bit of luck, that would have resolved the issue as having the run as administrator option ticked can sometimes cause issues stopping the game from launching. But if you do need to have that option ticked, because if you don't, you then have issues within the game like error codes and crashing and stuff, you can go back to File Explorer and then right click on the Modern Warfare.exe and just click on Run as Administrator and that will also work. So with a bit of luck, that did resolve that error code for you. If it didn't, then the next thing to do is go to Battle.net app, click on the Settings cog and you now need to click on the Game Settings and you need to just ensure that you don't have any additional command line arguments. If you do, Remove these and untick this option. And now go ahead and launch the game. If that didn't fix it, you now need to go back to battle.net app and then click on the settings cog again. And you now need to click on scan and repair. And this will check if any of the files have become corrupt or missing. If it does detect an issue, then battle.net will try and repair those files. And if that doesn't resolve the error code, then you will need to try and reinstall Warso. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.